Uh, good to see you again, Dr. Farnham. Mm -hmm. Hello, good morning. Yeah, professor and over at Drexel University, engineering. Yes, and so we wanted to talk about how do you explain what happened here? I mean, it started from what we know so far in the investigation. It started with the fire. How does that lead to I-95 collapsing? Mm -hmm. So based on the uh, pictures that I uh, uh, looked at yesterday and also the, the videos that I've watched, I think that this bridge is kind of a, like a composite bridge made of uh, steel girders and also a reinforced concrete bridge deck. Uh, and uh, so in engineering, we know that like uh, steel is very susceptible for heat. And because of this fire going on under the bridge, uh, they, uh, because of extreme heat, steel can lose around like 40 to 50 percent of its original strength. Oh. And um, um, I think that what happened, um, steel just lost its strength. And because of the load of the bridge, it it couldn't carry out the load, and then we, we had this collapse in the bridge. How hot does it have to get to melt a steel girder? Right, so it's not uh, melting, actually. Like, uh, no. melting happens at a very high temperature, but it still loses its strength as you increase the temperature. So around, like, 750 uh, degree Fahrenheit, um, it loses around, like, 20 to 30 percent of its strength. If it reaches to a, a thousand degree Fahrenheit, it can lose up to like 50 percent of its original strength. Oh. So 50 percent is substantial. So it doesn't need to melt, but as it, it the temperature increases, it loses its structural capacity. And I think that that happened uh, yesterday. And, but what's um, so and one of the things that I, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. One of the things that I want to mention that this actually reminded me yesterday when I was watching like to the to the videos and other things. Like it reminded me of 9/11 incident when the World Trade Center collapsed because mm -hmm. that was also a heat problem. Uh, so the building was structurally sound and robust, but because of the heat, it still uh, lost its strength in that incident, and because the aircraft kind of teared off all the like the uh, fireproofing of the steel structure in building, the 9-11 like, incident happened and the World Trade, Trade Center collapsed. Okay, here's the but challenge. One of the things... Yeah, go ahead. How, yeah. how long do you... Th how fast could they get it fixed, do you think? Um, so, it's a very good question uh, because normally it takes few years to build the bridge, but in this case, because of the heavy traffic and other like things that we have, and I think that with right allocations of resources, maybe they could get it done in a few months. But um, yeah, like I think that it's going to take at least like few months or one year to fix it. But maybe short term, they could do some like temporary like solutions, like maybe adding uh, an expansion in other roads or like some sort of detours mm -hmm. that could help us to maybe expedite the process. And we've been talking about some of those detours this morning, but is there any way that this could have been prevented? I mean, this is a very specific incident, what happened, of course, mm -hmm. the tanker catching on fire, but is there something that can be done so it can be, I guess, essentially fireproof? Uh, that's a very good question because in buildings we do have a fire code and we have to build our buildings uh, for fire resistance. But in outdoor highway structures like bridge, we don't do that. Like in engineering, mm -hmm. we don't expect this, this type of incidents. So we don't have like uh, fireproofing. So I think that maybe like this uh, like reminds us that like we as engineers need to maybe like revisit our uh, bridge codes and maybe yeah. like put a, like a component of fire proofing uh, for bridge design. That yeah. won't be expensive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, think about so many more lives could have been affected oh, by this. So. Had this happened yeah, on a weekday, exactly. mm -hmm. good Lord, there'd be hundreds of cars going across that thing mm -hmm. and some of them would have gone into the hole. Uh, this reminds me also of yeah. an earthquake, the North Ridge quake in uh, Southern California on the Santa Monica Freeway, uh, a bridge collapse like this. And somehow, this company called C.C. Meyer got in there and replaced the bridge in 74 days. They got a big mm -hmm. boost financially from the state of California. But they got yeah. it done in 74 days somehow, some way. We'll see what happens uh, on 95. Uh, Dr. Yeah. Farnham, thank you. Yes, thank you. We your appreciate expertise. your expertise. Yes, yeah, thank insights. you very much, and thank you for having me.